Dear New South Wales Police, I need to report a crime that two suspects, one male, one female, they are they have a car. They are in on the eleventh of October two thousand fourteen. They followed me home one night around twelve to two AM. Once I got home I didn't close the gate or security fly screen door in my door bedroom door. They entered my house by picking the lock of the main door and once they in they entered in my room only, they injected me here with some kind of sedative substance. I was out but I could see the faces over my over my over me. They opened my mouth after they injected me with the sedatives. They opened my mouth and put a tube tight inside my throat and then once inside they wisely cut an opening to the left side or flap of my stomach with a Wi-Fi tube or RF tube and a ball containing a small microbots inside them. They did this four times so that it was four tubes long medical snakes and balls and attached to each tube. I was about a quarter of awake. As they were doing this I saw them still awake. They both cried, carried me to their car and drove me to their house by and whilst I was there their home they got another injection and injected me with that to put me to sleep. They were panicking from what I could tell from what they were saying to each other. Before they injected me for a second I could see a table with computer laptops and remote controls and other scanning like police scanners and joysticks and mouses and military jammers and jammers. I believe it was also I saw uh, I have a scar on the left side of my head and the private investigator said that he believes one of the equipment is underneath there the cut to my head on this side here. I believe it was cut there by suspects at, at the sus premises. The next thing I knew I was back at home. I did not wake up until the next day about 11 a.m. I thought I was dreaming. Uh, they left a letter in my mailbox, no, in my bedroom, sorry, and took $10,000 worth of cash I was I had next to my bed. Uh, the next day, next couple of days, I could feel something moving inside my organ area. It was painful. They moved it about, moved about 100 more small microbots all around my body and at that time I did not know the name of the equipment was. They did this for a long time. They would run four microbots at a time. The next eight years they have been trying to murder me in the same bedroom and recollect the equipment murder kit and do this again from what they admitted to me. It it just like they have a gun controls the guns, the controls, and they have moved the equipment around the microbots, they're the bullets. This is an example of what I can describe to you what the crime is as I couldn't find anyone else going through I couldn't find anyone else going through this. There every day and night they have been controlling remote controlling these microbots from their premises. They no one believes me. They think I got a mental problem because the hospitals misdiagnosed me but this is a true crime story. Uh, I read the hospital saved my life from the suspects and the equipment that's that is still inside me and been using to kill me from a remote location. If I don't get evidence or medical imaging or please help me track the signals coming from my body to prove
if I don't get evidence or medical imaging it will please help me to track uh, signals coming from my body this proves that there is something inside me and the pain from cutting they do so you can see this going off while I'm attacking me in this area in the back of my head let's turn it off This proves that there is something inside me and it is painful from the cuts that they do to me. The just have a police said to me that I need medical evidence from them to open a file to start a start investigation of these two suspects. I hired a private investigator. They did use RF and Wi-Fi tracker and on the right side of my head a signal kept going off this left side, uh, right side, I don't know, I remember, was the left side, sorry, uh, we did this for five days, every day they scanned me and it came out positive every time the suspect would, they would turn it off, but uh, if they left this side of the equipment on, it would read positive, I also used my RF tracker to it came up positive every time I feel the equipment is moving I bring out the tester and record the recordings ready for police to catch this suspect in the act I need you to track the location address and you will see the controls and equipment they are using to commit these crimes you need to do this quietly and fast as they said that they will turn it off when the police is coming and lose their location. They did say that they might go to a hotel or their parents' place or the friend's place. They said that they will put speakers in sorry, they put said that they put speakers in my ear lining and earlobe so that they can have eyes and ears over the police when they come and they won't be at the crime scene when they murder me so that's another bonus they have because they're not here but they use the equipment for us to back a car to cut me inside and I die and but they want to come back and get the equipment they don't want to lose that so I don't understand that but if they're worst case scenario they want to just kill me and leave me here and say he died from natural causes or something like that but an autopsy would prove that, uh, but I need to, I wrote a letter saying that I requested an autopsy all the time, but anyway, uh, back to the letter, I really need the police to help me file a case before it is too late, and they cut me badly, as I'm a hostage and a lot of pain, and no one is helping me, this is a true crime that is hard to believe, but it's true. Because of these crimes, I have lost many years of age because of all the cutting to my organs and veins, etc. Also, my properties that I have developed has stopped since 2014. The properties value $1.2 million on completion, plus $1.7 million. I've attached a letter that, that left behind by and one doctor's example of what inside my the pictures I've attached these to this report to when I send it to you so I please uh, on the 17th of the 5th 2022 please take me serious as I'm a hostage and I'm running out of places I can be cut from within or if you know what I should do for example hire an engineer to hunt the signals coming from the equipment inside my inside me suspect's address or to go to the investigation type surgery to find and locate the equipment inside me and give it to the police. I need surgery ASAP or catch these two suspects ASAP. Also, surgery will take too long. I need police help to find suspects location before the 
before I run out of time. High regards, aka Chris Pacer, aka Ray Pratab, my company name Rent Investment, PDY Limited, More Bank. Uh, and that was done on the 17th of the 5th, 2022. Let's see. going up it's going off the back and this side here 